Hi, I'm Dorothy Bishop, and I'm a retired professor of developmental neuropsychology at the University of Oxford. And I just wanted to tell you about an experience I had trying to uh, consult a chapter in an ebook. Um, at Oxford, we have very good library services, and most things I want to read, I can read. And because I'm a scientist, most of what I read is in journals, but occasionally you come up against something in a book. And here was a book chapter that I really needed to look at because it contained something that looked highly critical for what I was writing. And so I got onto the online uh, Bodleian Library server and looked it up and I was very pleased to find it was there. And so I tried to order it up. Uh, and this was actually, I think, during lockdown when we couldn't easily get out and about. And rather to my surprise, although the library had bought this and it was clearly very expensive, I could see the price on the website, um, I was not able to download a chapter. What I was able to do and what I was told I should do is to go into the library physically uh, and work at a terminal from the library where I could read this chapter, but not, I think, download it. Now, why should it be like that? You would think that if you buy a book, uh, and it's online, that it should be made available and that you should be fostering your um, your academics to, to make the most of the knowledge that's there. But of course, this has to do with the way publishers are clearly terrified of losing profits if people can just download load material um, electronically. And this is bad for me as a scientist. It's even worse for people who work in disciplines where they rely more heavily on books. And many of my colleagues have told me this is a big problem for them. Um, that is just an unnecessary problem that's been made purely by the need of the publishers to boost their profits. There seems to be no other reason for it than that. And their profits are very, very high. It's not as if they're too poor to be kind to academics occasionally.